Hi and welcome back to Bransford Webs. You join us on a very hot, very sunny day here in the nursery and to make matters worse we decided to do the video inside one of the glass houses today. So, um, plug being in here because we're starting potting next year's crops um, quite quickly at the moment. A lot of the potting going on is for 2018 sales. So the crop you see behind me is Hebe Silver Dollar. It's one of the slower making Hebe's but also one of the first ones online. So this traditionally goes online around um, late January, early February into garden centres when it's cold nights and giving a nice pinky tinge to the tips of the new growth. Um, so yeah, slower growing but it forms a really nice tight habit, lots and lots of breaks on there, really strong plants. But it needs that slower growing period and a lot longer growing period to make it look good, ready for sales early 2018. So back to 2017, hopefully, um, things are going well in the garden centre. The sun's been shining, we've had some reasonable weather over the last um, few weeks. Um, a bit hot at times, but we can't complain about that. And thought we'd look through, again as usual, what's looking good and new on the nursery for next week. So first of all, we have an enemies. So this is the fantasy series. We have Cinderella, we have Pocahontas, and we have Red Riding Hood in this mix. So this one is um, Cinderella. And a week ago, these buds were sat right down there in the crown. You know, the last week they just thrown themselves up above the crown and the buds are starting to swell. And um, yeah, so they'll be right to the garden centres next week. Two litre pot, lovely chunky plant and loads and loads of bud on there too. And then a new crop for us here at Bransford is the um, one litre lavender javelin series. So traditionally for the lavender in a one litre pot at this time of year, you may remember we used to do the bumble series, but the variety didn't really suit, didn't perform, went a bit tall for a one litre plant. So we were looking for a new variety last year, we found the Javelin series. So there's blues, there's pinks like this one, and whites in the mix, four colours in the mix. Again, masses and masses of bud in there, first flowers just opening. Great to drop into a container, um, come back a holiday, everything's died in the containers, neighbours haven't watered it. It'll give you that colour right the way through the summer now, and then pop it into the border at the end of the year, and you've got colour for next year too. And uh, speaking of colour, it's going to go right way through to the autumn. I think we showed you this last week, but I want to show you again because I really do like this plant. It is Rebecca Little Gold Star. Again, nice, stocky, short habit to it. Masses and masses of bud. I mean, still don't care if it would take all day. And um, yeah, the flower, first flowers are just starting to open. So that's a two litre Rebecca Little Gold Star. And there, we put a light on lobelias this week. So the first of all is the um, lobelia Aspen Purple. So good variety, we do here at Bransford Webs, we've been for a good number of years now, as its name suggests, lovely purple flower, good strong plant, as you can see the flower spikes are just starting to come out of the crown too. And then one of my personal favourites over the last few years is Compton Pink. Um, we started doing this four or five years ago now, and it's got a lovely pink with almost a silvery back to the um, petals on the foliage, looking really nice. Um, again, the first flower spikes are just coming up out of the crown. And then last but not least, we've got the Princess series online. So three different colours in this. There's the scarlet one. Again, lovely, lovely dark foliage. This, the other one's got green foliage. But the first flower's just starting to open. Good two litre bushy plant. More growth from, coming from around the crown. But going to be great garden perennial to come back year after year in your customer's garden. So that's it for this week. Um, hopefully you have a good week ahead. And we will see you next week to see what's looking good here at Bransford. Until then, take care for now.